disappointed. Very disappointed. Let's finish up the interview. Morgan versus Trump. Turn the camera up. Very dishonest. How to become popular in the liberal world order? Well, it is rather easy. Just slander Trump and you become instantly popular. And Piers Morgan has followed the same theory. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Vedika. Let's begin. The liberal mainstream media is back with another pointless campaign to slander Trump. They are claiming that Trump's interview with Piers Morgan, a British television personality, left the former US president embarrassed. It is being propagated that Trump stormed out of the interview midway because he couldn't face tough questions from the British television personality. But what happened really? Well, Piers Morgan conducted one of the most shameful interviews ever. And why are we using the expression shameful? Well, we have four reasons why. Firstly, it is not a great indication if the interviewee walks out. So, what happened? Well, Trump was being interviewed by Morgan and the wild teasers that are out on social media seem to suggest that Trump stormed out of the interview. But did he? Well, NBC News has reported that an audio tape given by Trump's spokesman proves that he didn't storm out of the interview, as some outlets have been reporting. NBC News reported that the audio shows that Morgan and Trump thanked each other and laughed at the conclusion of the interview. So the liberal media narrative of Trump chickening out of the interview may be exaggerated. However, even if Trump did walk out of the interview, it isn't a great achievement. It only shows that the interviewee was uncomfortable with the interviewer and felt that since the interviewer was biased, there was no point in continuing with the interview. Still worse, the teaser of the interview with a dramatic background score seems to flaunt Trump's decision to walk out as some sort of an achievement. Secondly, are we really labeling it as Trump versus Morgan? And what is the idea behind Trump versus Morgan narrative? Is Morgan a politician? No, he isn't even an American. So there is no point in a face-off between the two. Remember, it wasn't an election debate, but an interview that was organized. So, making a fighting contest out of it is quite meaningless. Morgan's job was just to ask questions and seek Trump's opinions. This is it. He had no job getting into a shouting match with the former president of the United States of America. And if Morgan reduced the entire issue into a debate, it is only disgraceful on his part. The third reason is Morgan's judgment on US elections. In the interview teaser, you can hear Morgan say, it was a free and fair election, you lost. And you can hear Trump reply, only a fool would think that. Morgan, however, insists, you think I'm a fool? And Trump replies in the affirmative. So, Morgan was saying that the election was free and fair and Trump has lost. It was a free and fair election, he lost. Only a fool would think. You that. think I'm a fool? I do now. Yeah. With respect. Excuse me. Okay. With respect. The legacy. The hard evidence. Excuse me. This is exactly what Democrats say, and this is exactly the line that the American mainstream media too pushes. Pierce Morgan seems to be echoing the same sentiment, which is why you see many Democratic Party supporters rally behind him. However, it is worth noting that there were many serious allegations of the 2022 polls being stolen. Whether they were free and fair or not is a different matter. However, we do know that Morgan has no authority and no means to judge whether the elections were free and fair. This is out-and-out out propaganda and pretty shameful at that. Lastly, this is nothing but cheap publicity. Bring a big man to the show, especially if a new talk show is being organized and it gives you immense popularity. You get engagement with both kinds of people, those who agree with you and those who don't agree with you. This is however called cheap publicity and this is exactly what this interview seems to have done. Not everyone would have known Pierce Morgan till now, but with his feud with Trump, everyone seems to know him now, be it his critics or those who are in agreement with him. Pierce Morgan's interview with Trump, therefore, goes down as one of the most shameful interviews in a long time.